Hello everyone! In the last tutorial on double jump, which you can find at the end of this video, our Kirby can fly. But after flying, the Kirby is floating in the air for too long. So, we are going to add fast fall to make it come back to the land faster. Okay, let's get started! So, to implement fast fall, we have to answer two questions. 1. When to do fast fall? And 2. How to do fast fall? Okay, let's answer the first question. When can the person who don't do the fast fall? It can do the fast fall when it is floating in the air. And to detect that, we need the touch sensor. So I'm going to object, sensors, and then touch sensor. I'm going to make this quite thin so that it is quite accurate. When I connect this to the person, I go to the settings. And then for the output timing, it should be wire touched. Connection point is from Y positive to Y negative so that it will be under the person's feet. And check what? This one, we are checking everything that the person can stand on. So I'm adding word as well. Let's take a look. So now we can see this touch sensor below Kirby. We can only do fast fall when it is not touching the cloud, so we need not no done. Then I'm going to connect this to the touch sensor. Okay, the next condition is that when a button is pressed, I will trigger the fast fall. Let's say that if we press Y, it will fast fall. So I need Y input. Then I go to the settings. Output timing should be on press. Then close it. And then we need a flag to tell if we are currently doing the fast fall or not. So I'm going to middle flag. And this flag should be on when it is not touching and Y is pressed. So I'm going to add add logic here. So I link this to not touching and also link this to Y button. Then I connect to the on flag. When should the fast fall stop? The fast fall should stop when we touch the floor. So yeah. After the touch sensor sends signal true, we should turn off the flag. Okay, here comes the fun part. How to do the fast fall. So the idea is that I will add a moving box that adds the speed to the person. Okay, let's add it. I'm going to object, picture object, moving object, and then box object. I'm connecting this to the person. Then I'm going to the box settings. I remove all the properties. For the mode, I select speed. Because the fast fall can be quite long, if I select acceleration, it may be too fast. So yeah, I'm going to select speed here. And then, when this flag is true, I have to input Y negative value. So I'm going to add constant. Let's say that during the fast fall, I want the speed to be negative 10. So I adjust this to be negative 10. If the flag is not on, I should send 0. So here I'm going to add multiplication first. And then I will connect this negative 10 to multiplication. And I will also connect the flag to it. So when the flag is true, I will set the Y speed to be negative 10, which is moving downwards. Okay, so this is a normal jump. And this is fast fall. Yeah, it's faster. Oh, like this. But you can notice one problem is that the character is bouncing hard. So we are going to fix it. So we are going to fix the bouncing next. I have tried multiple methods here like Using a moving box to further add Y negative for a short period of time, but it's quite hard to adjust and sometimes the character just bounced up again. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to use teleport node on to reset the physics. So I'm going to add a teleport entrance and a teleport exit here. And also one teleport exit.
you have to make sure that these two IDs are the same. So I'm going to change this one into B. And for the properties, I should disable visible. And teleport what? I have to teleport the person. The connection point is center to center because we want the teleport box to overlap the person directly. Close it. And I'm linking this to the person. I also connect the teleport exit to the person. I go to the teleport exit settings. And then I remove visible. For the teleport physics, I have to reset. And then launch speed should be zero because we do not want any speed. Close it. The next question is when should we trigger this teleport? We should use teleport when a person has just touched the floor. So I'm going to add a trigger node on here. Connect to the touching sensor. And then I need to output this for a short period of time. So I need a timer. I connect the trigger output to timer input. Then I go to the timer settings. I want to teleport as soon as I touched the floor. So output after 0 seconds. And continue output for how long? This one use a small number, like for example, like 0 0.1 second. Then I connect this one to the teleport entrance. Okay, let's try it. So when I do normal jump, it no longer bounces. What if I fly and then I fast fall? Yeah, it stops bouncing. This is the bonus part. In Smash Bros, we can only do fast fall if we start dropping. So here we need a speed sensor. And then I'm going to connect this to the person node on. Here I have to check if the Y speed is less than 0. So if Y less than 0. So I'm moving this to the left a bit. And then I add one more and no done. I remove this link. Then I connect the and that links between two conditions earlier with the new and. And connect this comparison output to and input. Then I turn on the flag. Yeah, so now when the elbow is flying, I cannot press Y. But if I press Y now, I can fast fall. Yay! And that's it! Let me know in the comments which tutorials you would love to see. Lastly, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye and see you next time!